Hey guys, Ms. Guire here. We are uh, moving on to our next um, video for math uh, on real life arrays. So I went around my house and was able to take a few pictures of different arrays that we found in real life. So, um, and for your challenge, you're going to create your own photo collage of arrays that you find in your house for fun. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and get started. I can find the area of a rectangle using arrays. Um, so, our essential questions are, what is an array? How do you find array, uh, I'm sorry, how do you use arrays to find area? What is area? And what is a unit? And how do you show units in your answer? Okay. So, well, let's take a look at what is area. So, we've talked about how it is length times width. Okay, and length times width. So, um, uh, so how tall or the length, okay, how long it is, how wide it is this way, okay. So let's take a look at our first array. So um, looking at this right here, this is the little planter, um, what's the area of the planter? Think about how many, we want to find how many squares are all in there all together, which would be our area, how much is in your um, square right here, your planter. So let's find the area first. And then um, there are a couple different equations that you can use to find this, and we'll go over that in just a moment. So if you said two rows and two columns, you're right. And our, our area of it is four, okay? So two plus two, okay, two rows, two columns, two plus two. Or we could have written it as two times two, which times, that symbol just means groups of two, groups of two, okay? So that also makes four. All right, let's take a look at another one. So over here, look at this. <laughs> okay, so over here, we've got a trellis, um, and I want to see how many squares are in here all together. So we're going to do our length times our width to figure that out, or you can do an addition problem. I'll give you a second to figure that out. I have Flash here. I'm going to try to get him to come over for you. He's being quite moody this morning. Okay, here we go. We have, I'm going to go over this one. We have five rows and three columns here. There's five in here. Okay, five rows going this way. And then there's three columns, one, two, three. When, and our, for our equations, there's a few different ways that we can write this. We can do three groups of five, or three times five equals 15. We could do three plus three plus three plus three, that's three five times, um, which equals 15. Or we can do five plus five plus five, which equals 15. Now this multiplication problem right here, you could flip it around and you could say five times three as well. Those are both the same, just like in addition where you can flip the two numbers, same thing for multiplication. You can flip the two numbers around. The answer is the same. So how I figure this out is, let's say I did 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3, which is 15. So 3 plus 3 is 6. 6 plus 3 is 9. 9 plus 3 is 12. And 12 plus 3 is 15. Or I could do it a little bit easier uh, addition problem, which would be 5 plus 5 is 10, plus 5 more is 15. You can count by 5. 5, 10, 15, and here comes Flash. He's looking for some more worms. They would calm him down. <laughs> um, oh, he found one. <laughs> um, let's see if I can get him over here and show you really quick. I'll feed him one. He's like, I don't want that one. Look, look Flash. I don't know if he sees it. It's a sideshow. Flash eating the worm. <laughs> He's mad. Come on, Flash, eat it for then. Does he see it? Come on, Flash. Come on, Flash. Look. He doesn't see it yet. All right, we're going to have to wait for the next one. All right, so for this one, 
I want you to find the area of that right there. So figure out how many circles you have painted, uh, dug into the sand there. Come on, boss. Come on. He's mad. Does he see it? Okay, so I'm going to move on here for you. So we have three rows and three columns. And we can write this by our length times our width. So three times three. And then we can also do this as an addition problem. Three plus three is six, plus three more would make nine. Okay. Let's see if I can get them to do this. Come on, flashy boy. Maybe on the next one. <laughs> All right, guys, what's the area of this? Couple of in the sand. Oh, yeah. This is why I went to the beach, just to get these pictures for you. More like I wish I went to the beach to get these for you. All right, so this one is two rows and two columns. Two times two equals four. So length times width, two times two equals four, or two plus two equals four. Okay, you've got four little circles here or little cupcakes. Okay. All right, let's take a look at this one. Think, figure out the area of this one. Looking at the little guys, how many little guys do you have in this um, foosball table? Okay, guys, so we have four rows and three columns. So four rows. Oh, he ate it, but he wasn't on camera. Sorry, guys. I'll try to capture one on camera for you. Okay, one, two, three columns, and one, two, three, four rows. So we can write this as length times width, three times four equals 12, or three groups of four equals 12. We could also write this as four groups of 12. You just flip that around if you want. Now we can write our addition problem. So we're doing three plus three plus three, uh, three, three four times which makes 12 or you can do four plus four plus four which is four three times which makes 12 as well so look at how we did that so three plus three is six six plus three more is Sorry, ah, calm down <laughs> i caught him just in time <laughs> um okay so three plus three is six plus three more is nine plus three more is 12. Okay, so 12 little guys all together. All right, take a look at this one. I know we've done this problem before. I just want to find the array of this one. How many squares do you have within that big square? Figure out your equation too, not just being able to find the answer, but being able to know what that equation is. Okay, so on this one, we have two rows and two columns. Two times two equals four. That length times width equals four. And two plus two equals four. All of those are the same way to get the uh, same answer. So finding the area. Uh, let's look at another one. We have, um, think about how many rows and how many columns you have for this one. Okay, moving on. Three rows and th two columns. So three rows, one, two, three, and two columns. And then to figure this out, our equation can be three grouped up two, three times two equal. Whoa, that's the wrong answer. My bad. Let me change that for even two. Good catch, Mr. Blair. Okay, so three times two equals six. Um, or we have two plus two plus two equals six. Two plus two plus two equals six. Or three plus three equals six. Three. 
those are the um, column sets. Three and three make six, or two and two and two make six. So two plus two is four, plus two more would be six. All right, let's look at another one. Let's look at the array of cards. Careful, Clark. He's not in a very good mood. <laughs> All right, here we go. We have three rows and four columns. So we have three rows and four columns. One, two, three, and four columns. One, two, three, four. Now figure out how many cards that are there all together. So when we did that, we did the length times the width, which would be three groups of four, which makes 12. Three times four equals 12, or four times three equals 12. Then we just added it together. So four plus four plus four, that's going to make 12. Okay, or three plus three plus three plus three makes 12 as well. I don't know why I still have four right there. Whoopsies. That's 12 as well. All right, let's take a look at well, a couple more here. We're almost reaching the end on this one, and then you get to make your own array. So this one, we've got an array of Hatchimals. So figuring out... How many Hatchimals do we have there? How many Hatchimals do we have? When we look at this one, we have two rows, one, two, and we have six columns, one, two, three, four, five, six. And we have two times six equals 12, okay, length times width. Or we have two plus two plus two plus two plus two equals 12, or six plus six equals 12. I find that six plus six would probably be the easiest one to add together. Six plus six is 12. That's a double stack. We know that. And then also we could do the two plus two plus two plus two plus two, which would be two plus two is four, plus two more is six, plus two more is eight, plus two more plus 10 and plus two more is 12, or you could count by twos. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. There's so many ways to do it. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at another one. We've got some um, of those bobblehead guys. How many do we have? Oh, All right, we got two rows and four columns. So two rows and four columns. So two, and I'm gonna count by twos to figure this out. Two, four, six, eight. I count on by twos four times to make eight. Two, four, six, eight. Then I can go two plus two plus two plus two, which makes eight, or four plus four makes eight as well. All right, let's look at this one. So what, how many little animals do we have on this one? Okay, on this one we have two groups of two. Two times two equals four. Two plus two equals four. Two rows and two columns, which make four. All right, and I think this might be our last one for today. Um, so figure out right here, starting here, going all the way around, how many puzzle pieces do we have? What's the array for this one? What's the equation for this one? Okay. Come on, Flash. All right, so this one we have three rows and three columns. One, two, three, and we also have three columns. One, two, three, going this way. So when we do our multiplication problem, we're doing our length times our width, so three times three equals nine. Or we can add those together, three plus three plus three, which makes nine. So three this way, one, uh, three plus three, which would be six, plus three more, which would make nine, okay? Or you could do the three, three, and three this way too on our rows. All right, so for your challenge, I do want to go over how to do it as well. This one is going to take just a little bit of parent help. Um, so um, 
do your best on it. And um, yeah, you may need a little bit of parent help to just get your pictures and to get them up uploaded to the computer. So you're gonna make your own real life array, a digital photo collage. You're gonna take pictures of real life arrays that you find around your house. Then create a photo collage on Google Classroom. So I'm gonna go over to your um, Google Classroom and show you what it's gonna look like on your side of it. So when you go here to Google Classroom, you're gonna open up this one and it's gonna have your, of course, your instructions on there on the first page. Go on an array photo hunt around your house, take pictures of all the arrays you find, be creative, you can even make your own create arrays out of toys or make some yummy cookies and take a picture of them. Now, there's a couple ways to upload them to this Google, the Google Slides that we have here. So you could um, insert, if you have like a tablet and you have slides on a tablet or um, a phone, you can just take the picture and insert it right there from your um, Google Slides and I'll show you how to do that right now. Or uh, if you don't, on your computer, you don't have a webcam or something to take a picture easily, what you could do is take it with a phone or a tablet and then upload it to the computer, um, which I'll show you how to do that one as well. So. If you're taking a picture right on your device or your tablet or your whatever you're using right now, um, what you could do is you could um, go insert right here, image, and then it says upload from the computer. So then, oh, I'm sorry, wrong one. I was telling you the second option. You're going to go image, up, uh, insert image, and then you can go down here where it says camera. And then you can just take your picture. It's going to it's gonna say, do you have permission? And they say, allow. And then you can just take your picture right here, hold up your array, and just take a picture. Or move your camera so that it can see the um, array. And then it'll insert right into your Google Slides. Or um, if you don't have a tablet, you could... Um, <laughs> you can upload your co uh, photo to the computer with the help of a parent. So your parent can, you can take pictures on their phone and they can uh, plug their phone into the computer and put them on your computer and then you can upload, insert them through there. Or sometimes parents have a Google Drive for their all their photos to be backed up and you can just take them and copy and paste them from there. Um, so there's just a couple different ways you can do that. Um, if it's too complicated, you can only just take a couple pictures on Dojo and send them to me. Um, I kind of want six pictures of Google. Oh, Flash just ran away. <laughs> That's why I was so distracted. Um, we I want to have six um, arrays. So find at least six. You can have more if you want. Um, and then you're going to have your photo. And then what's the area of your array? How many um, objects do you have in your array? Okay. Um, be creative with it. Um, and so I want, again, six arrays and also make sure that you write the area in there. So you double click on this part and you can type into this box what the area is of that picture you're uploading into here. Now, again, if it's too tricky or complicated to try to get those photos uploaded, you can always use Dojo and uh, send me the picture and the number for your area on there as well um so have fun with it i hope you have fun on your photo collage um real life array hunt all right bye guys we'll see you next time